Hi everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to make the tool, the Seascape, quick and easy. Here is one which I recorded, but unfortunately it never recorded properly. And that was with one of the tools which I've made. And this is the other one. Also, the recording didn't come out. You would have seen in my last video the one that I did record and upload. So here we go. So this is just a milk carton. And please try your best not to cut off any fingers in the process. So this is what I do. You can just cut it as straight as possible. It's not that important. So I would cut right over the edge, over the bend, so you've got something to hold on to when you're um, doing your pour. <clears throat> and just cut it straight off the end. As you can see, mine is not very straight. You can neaten it up if you'd like to. It's entirely up to you. So this would be the first one. And this is the bend, the natural bend, a curvature of the milk carton. So I'm going to cut above that. So I have done it two ways. The first way was with just the two slats. And the second way is with three slats. So when I did the two, and I did the pour with the two slits like this, um, it seems to give you a very different outcome, both of them. So then just pop them out. You might need to give it a bit more of a cut. So when you do your pour, you would hold it like in that position and pour through the gaps. So let's just do the second one. <coughs> we'll just take the milk tags off. <laughs> we don't need that. It's also a very good way of recycling. So we've got the bend here again. We're going to start here. And it's exactly the same principle as you did earlier. I'll just neaten mine up a little bit, not that it matters, like I said. So there's the bend, the natural bend of the curvature of the bottle. Now you can cut three holes. Try not to cut your fingers off. And you can cut them as far apart or as close to each other as you want. I think each one, each variable will actually give you a different outcome but each time you do a pour it also gives you a different outcome. 
So these sea scapes actually become very quick and easy to do and simple and it's got such a great effect. And then we'll just pop those ones out. So my channel is with Bade, where I will be doing all sorts of little tricks, tips and tricks on how to get your flow art done a little more simple. This is the one that I've done in my previous video. So you can have a look at the previous video and see exactly how I did it. And um, if you like, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you can watch more videos to come. So I normally do um, flow art in my time when I don't want to I just want to break really from the oil paintings that I do. If you'd like to have a look at some of my artwork, you can go and have a look on artist B A D E Bade on Instagram. I'll also post up um, any of the new flow arts that I do with a link to my channel. So the channel is on YouTube is with Bade and just press the notifications button and uh, the little bell and you'll get notified automatically of when the next video is up. Well thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.